God, this is a mission and a half, isn't it? I've got one more to get from behind here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Stay. Oh. Righty ho then. Welcome back to my channel. First of all, how are you doing? As you can see, the Christmas tree is still up. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to put this video out. And in all honesty, I have already filmed this, but I managed to somehow lose all the footage. So there we go. Let's make this one 100 times better than that one that I deleted somehow. So I'm going to take you through into my walk-in wardrobe. It's not really a walk-in wardrobe. It's a cupboard under the stairs, which I can barely stand up in. I've also got some under the bed, which I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to bring you back into the living room finish off showing all of these ones. I got sent a very appropriate t-shirt for this occasion. So, there it is. Sneakers, 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 sneakers. Thanks to my mate Dan for sending this over. You the man. So here's just a couple which I don't have the boxes for and I just chuck in my cupboard. Some old school vans with the gum sole, which I really like. I only use these to skate in when I skate, don't know why I'm pushing them over there. These are my Authentics, black white, which, uh, let's face it, it's a summer shoe. I haven't worn them for a little while, they're just for beating around in in the summer. Free run fly nets from Nike, they're my gym shoes. They're really comfy gym shoes actually as well. So if you're looking for a good gym shoe, go with these bad boys. Da, 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 da. Right, two of my favorite pairs that I own. The Comme de Garçon Chuck Taylor collaboration with Converse. They're a little bit more um, well put together than normal Converse. That's why they cost a little bit of money. Money? <laughs> That's why they cost a little bit more money. They um, set you back around 90 pounds, I think. And they're quite hard to get hold of. They always... They stock them in places like um, Offspring on the rare occasion, Dover Street Market, Offspring in Selfridges I think have them, but every time I go on, they come back in stock like every three months, so if you want them and they're sold out, just wait a little while and they should come out again. And then also I've got a very dirty pair of black and white ones, which are also sweet. I think these are the Adidas, like they're from the Z Flux series, I don't really know what their name is other than that, um, but I picked these up actually for my dad, but I like them so much, sorry dad, that I kept them. Huh, that's nice of me, isn't it? They're my cupboard shoes. Let me bring you through to the bedroom. I do apologize if the camera is changing lighting, whatever. It's because I'm running around my flat like a madman. This is more like where I keep my smart wear shoes slash ones which I haven't worn in a while. My big plastic tray of beaten shoes. Let's start with these, shall we? These are the just barber Chelsea boots. I was really unimpressed actually by the build of these. There's like a wooden strip which goes along the sole. I bought these for work and literally after two, maybe two a week after wearing them, they started, it started to just peel off. I've got some trusty Berties. They're all right. I mean, they're kind of brogue-like, aren't they? Get me to back and from work. And also the work shoes were the third pair of work shoes that I don't really wear anymore, which I think will probably clean up quite nicely, are the Clark's Originals. The Trainer Enders, that's a very nice silhouette on a shoe, isn't it? Look at me with my trendy word, silhouette. They're a bit beaten. But again, I think I could probably wash them up a little bit. So I used to love my Janoskis when I used to skate back in the day. And um, when they brought out Janoskis with a Max Soul, I was all over that. Retired gym shoes, I think these are a women's shoe but I really like the design on these, so I was like, you know what, why not? I think they're called Vitorious, Vitreous. If you do know their names and I've pronounced them wrong, correct me in the comments, just so everyone else will know. <laughs> I'm not giving everyone false information. So it's the navy suede with cream and gray on the sole. I think this is the 574 model, my favorite model from New Balance. Quickly run over the ones that are left. You gotta have some sliders, haven't you, for when you go on holiday. I'm not really a flip-flop man, so sliders are the one. Weekend Offender boots. I haven't worn them in a while. Uh, Adidas Ransom, kind of smart cash. Not really sure what to call these, but they've got a waffle sole. Very dangerous if you're stepping on wet leaves. Could kill yourself. And these are just kind of, you know, your standard go on holiday. Trendy little moccasins. Sweet! Oh, and these. Last last but not least, from the box under the bed, we've got some Nike Pegasus. I've worn these a couple of times. 
I picked them up from a sale in Urban Outfitters. I don't know if you could hear that weird drone. For some reason, I decided to put on my washing whilst I filmed this. So that's what that sound is if you're trying to figure that out. This is the Pierre de la Resistance. These are what I count as as my nice trainers because I've all I've kept them in their box. I've looked after them really nicely. Let's just go for it, shall we? Let's just dig straight in, see what we've got. I'll be interested to know what your guys' uh, favourite go-to brand for trainers is slash what your favourite model is of shoe. Here they are. Right, my favourite go-to model, not ones that I actually wear that often, but, well, it's more of a summer shoe for me. It has to be the Air Max 1. I mean, look at how beautiful those are. Oh my gosh. I have to remind myself of the name of these. What is it called? Air Max 1 Kumquat. That was it. And uh, yeah, look how nice that little swoosh is on the toe box. Ooh, love these. And also, it doesn't say Nike Air on the back. It, say, it just has another swoosh. So I thought that was a really well designed shoe, really well put together. Canvas, suede, leather, all sorts in that. So I couldn't say no. I think I got them from Mr. Porter online. Let's just carry on with the Nike now we've dived straight in there with them. The other Air Max model that I own, but it's actually the Air Max 1 Ultra Essential. Bit out there. This was my go-to sh summer shoe this summer. Um, look at how cool the colours are. This is made out of the 3M material, so it's really reflective when it catches the light. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... Sh you won't be able to see the effect, no. These are the Mayfly Wovens. I just thought the women's colorway was so much more interesting than the men's colorway that were released this year. Men's were just plain gray, plain black, plain blue, I think. Uh, there's all sorts of colors. But anyway, look, there's gum, gum bits on the sole. There's gray through the woven bit, and then there's also a tan on the inside. On the women's, uh, goes through the gray also, those kind of little finer details and colors. Loved it. So that's why I went for a women's colorway over the men's, because the men's was just, let's face it, plain boring. Finishing off the Nike, I think, with... Bum, bum, bum! Oi, look at those bad boys! The Presto Safaris. Look how interesting that is. <laughs> look how interesting they are. They're just like mad, aren't they? Straight on to Adidas. These are the Stan Smith Prime Nets. I thought, you know what, stuff the originals, I'm gonna go for a black prime net. And they're so comfy, so happy I bought them. Got them bad boys in the sale. Grey, black, white NMDs. Uh, not prime net, because let's face it, NMD R1 prime nets, pretty hard to get a hold of. On to the next one, on to the next one. Adidas Ultra Boost. These were from the reflective pack, so I count my lucky stars that I was able to get hold of these because these are such a cool shoe. Again, you won't be able to see it, but they've built that 3M material into the upper of the shoe, so not that I'm going to wear these running or anything like that. Traffic will see you because your shoes will flare up like a camera flash. It makes sense to follow on from Adidas onto Reebok because I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure Reebok's owned by Adidas, isn't it? I've had these for absolute yonks. I picked them up because I think I got them quite cheap. I think they're in the sale. I was interested in the colour. I haven't worn these in a long time. These are also one of my favourite pair. Reebok Classics model. Well, you're not ready for this. You're not ready for this. These are the Kendrick Lamar collaboration. I think this is the first collaboration he did with uh, Reebok. I might be wrong. If I am, again, Comment down below and tell me I'm wrong. But he's done a few of these now. One of them was the split pack, which was really interesting. Uh, I didn't manage to get my hands on a pair of them. Oh, I love them. It's my favorite color that Reebok Classics has done um, with this gum sole. All gray suede and then the red and blue on the back look by Kendrick Lamar. That's a pair that I don't really wear that often either because I just think they're so special. Right, Palace is shit hot at the moment, isn't it? So this is a collaboration with Palace. I didn't get these at the drop. I got them online luckily because they didn't sell out. So I was happy with those. And I really like how the bottom's that cool blue kind of semi-transparent. 
So yeah. I love watching kind of um, trainer collection videos online just because you get a sense of someone's style, don't you? So that was me picking dust off them because that's how long I've had them for. It's the Puma Suede. Also, they're quite special actually because they're the cycling edition, so it doesn't have the kind of, I'm not going to call it a swoosh, but you know what I mean, that Puma branding on the inside, which on all other Puma suede it does have. But yeah, they're cool. They're, sw they're slightly narrower as well actually than normal Puma suede. But yeah, got the grey and the black ones. Oh crap, I missed out one Adidas. Got the NMD XR1. This is one of my favorite models from the NMD series from Adidas. So, so comfy. They launched a camo pair, which I really want to get hold of. Not the Bape camo, but the um, normal prime knit camo with the, I think it, the label's orange. If you know where I can get a pair of those ones, hit me up. On to Vans. So I've already shown you the old schools, which are kind of like my beta old schools, which I skate in. I've got a pair of the skate highs in black and white. I've also got a pair of skate highs in the navy. I've got a pair of the low black and white old schools. I actually bought these because I want to do uh, like a trainer custom video. So I haven't worn these yet, purely for the reason that I'm gonna end up painting them and customizing them at some point. I just need to get organized and actually do that. I have a pair of the navy old school lows as well. Old schools, they're just called old schools, aren't they? Nearly there, folks, nearly there. Thank you for sticking with me. It's quite hard to film a video like this because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just showing you loads and loads of pairs of shoes. So there's only so many ways in which I can show you that. The last pair of New Balance I own, 574 model, like the model of the shoe all grey kind of with a little bit of white and also that end is that reflective material that I keep telling you about which features in a hell of a lot of the shoes which I own. These are special, I haven't worn them yet, I just really like them and I'm waiting for an occasion to wear them. They're my Grentsons, I think they're called Fred. These are a legit pair of boots. Probably will wear them to like a wedding or something like that. And to finish it off, I've got another pair of Clark's Originals. So I bought these recently actually because I went to a Christmas party and these are those kind of like smart, they are smart but smart casual shoes. Low top desert boots, yeah desert London, that's what they're called. I hope you enjoyed this style of video, if you did give it a thumbs up, I'm going to try and link, it's going to take me a long time let's be honest, but I'm going to try and link as many of these shoes I can, you'll find it all in the description box. Remember what I said, comment down below what your favorite shoe slash model is. I'm interested to find out and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. Man wants to pick up more shoes in it so we can do a part two.